Hey, so today I'm here to do a makeup tutorial for you on this look. This is basically my favorite go-to look, but I wouldn't call it my everyday look because it takes some time for me to do because basically you gotta do lashes and wing and that in the same uh, time frame just takes forever for me. But it's just like, if I wanna do something that I know looks good and it's just like easy for me to do without like thinking about anything, this is what I do. And I use basically like all my favorite products or products that I really like that I know aren't gonna do me wrong. And I was just gonna talk to you and talk to you about some new products that I got and I just wanna like tell you what I thought about them because I haven't been on here for a while so I could at least tell you what I think about some things that I've been trying. But yeah, that's all I think. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so since I'm doing something like super simple today, I've got like most of it done already because normally when I make a video, I do my eyebrows already and um, prime and set my eyelids. Just make sure that whenever you <laughs> set your eyelids, use like a skin tone color and don't use like a white <laughs> or something because if you're not putting any other colors over top of it, it's gonna look super weird and I've had that problem before. So I just use like a very skin tony color. And I didn't really wanna show you how to do my eyebrows because I've done that before and I haven't changed like anything since the last video of me doing that. So you can just go find that somewhere else. So all I'm gonna do is eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Sephora Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof in the shade, I don't know, it's the shade black. I think it has a different name, but who knows? This is my favorite ever. And if you don't have it, you need it. That's all I have to say. And we're just gonna make some giant wings. Okay. Got the wings done. Actually wasn't too hard. I feel like every time I'm on camera, I somehow do better with my wings than when I'm not, which makes no sense, but it's great. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I really feel like I like uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black better than this one. <laughs> Cause whenever I go back to using that one, I think it does like the same thing, but kind of less plumpy. And this brush is just humongous. And it's like fully loaded all the time <laughs> with mascara. So that's kind of annoying. But can you see how clogged this hole is? <laughs> it sounds really gross, but it's like, Ugh. and this is just like, oh, clump city. It's very yucky. And then we're gonna put on kiss number 11 lashes. Actually, whenever I haven't wore lashes for like several days at a time, these look beautiful. I think that once I started wearing like bigger lashes, then I was like, these are lame. Like there's not enough here <laughs> because they just weren't as big. But in reality, they look beautiful. And the thing is, whenever I wear these eyelashes, I feel like I get more compliments than anything because people are like, are those your real eyelashes? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, well, they look like natural, but like good. So I think a lot of people like these. I've been having a problem with this freaking glue though. I will tell you that. Uh, it's the House of Lashes glue, which I like normally, but for some reason, I can put on a bunch of glue and wait till it's either not that tacky or super tacky, you know, like wait till it's dry or not dry. And no matter what, it like does not want to stick to my eyelid. I don't know why, it makes no sense. Okay, let's try to put these on and make them fucking stick. That would be cool. There are as children, I think, just yelling outside like, you're gonna break it stop <laughs> what not doing nothing about it not my problem i think they're children maybe they're like a couple fighting i'm not sure <laughs> okay well we wait for this glue to dry um i want to talk about my nails because i don't know i posted some pictures via the internet and i mean people like them because they've got money in them which is i think pretty badass i'm pretty happy with this hand see this is what i was gonna do to both hands but you don't understand how hard it is to make money form on the nail like it won't lay down straight i think maybe if i had older money instead of like crisp new money it would have been a different story and it was only a dollar so don't like yell at me but um yeah it looks cool but yeah this hand is just color changing gel nail polish it's pretty badass but like the tips of them stay dark green because it's like cold up here because they're so long and then down here where it's warm where my skin is it's like neon green light green so i don't know it's pretty cool though that they change colors i kind of wish they'd stay more ombre looking at least because there's like a giant difference here between light green and dark green but it's still pretty cool i don't know i feel like i'm getting better at nails and people like to ask me, why don't you make a video showing us how you do your nails? And then I'm like, 
I'm not a pro. <laughs> like if you wanted to learn, I would say go to somebody's videos who actually does good. Like I watch Nao Nails all the time. She's amazing. But yeah, I don't know, maybe one day I can make a video trying to show how I do my nails, but I just would prefer to wait until I'm actually better at it than what I am right now. I mean, I definitely can tell that I am getting better. That's good. Cause I mean, it started out as sucking horribly, but it's just really hard. It just takes like a lot of practice. And now I'm gonna go back over the top of the eyeliner and try to make it look even. Okay, so I feel like that was a giant chore, but it's finally done. And um, for primer, I wanted to talk about this one that I got not that long ago. Sent to me for free by Influencer. So one time I said that and I said it wrong and they weren't happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. A lot of people love this. <laughs> I have a few issues with it. So it's super watery. Comes out like, ugh, like that. Okay. You don't understand how much of this I feel like I have to use on my face. Like, because when I'm rubbing it in, it just dries. And I feel like I have to work so fast. And if I don't, then it's like, oh, well, dry now. And then I gotta add more on top of it, which I don't know that that like looks cake or anything. I feel like it would because it turns to a powder, but it's just very annoying. <laughs> I think it does keep around my nose more matte because that's just usually where my foundation melts. But I feel like for this product being so expensive, um, I have to use so much of it. And there's no way that that would be okay with me if I actually bought it myself. But yeah, uh, it looks good, I guess. It literally looks just like my favorite primer. Um, I did a half and half face side. The only thing I noticed a difference was I think that this one got a little bit more melty on my nose. Like that was the only thing. I guess if you want something kind of more matte so that you're not as oily, then maybe, but really I just don't know. There's got to be something better that's cheaper because I know that that is expensive. Okay, so I'm going to use my favorite high-end foundation today, even though it is so similar to the Wet Mold Photo Focus, but since I don't use this that much, I'm going to use it today. But I really don't think I'll ever repurchase it now because I found the Wet n Wild one and I just love it so much. But I like to apply this uh, NARS one with a brush at first to begin with. Specifically, the Real Techniques <laughs> buffing brush. I honestly though, I think this NARS one has more coverage. Unless I just think that because I use a brush with it and I don't use a brush with the Wet n Wild one. But, and a little bit of this goes a way longer way than the one Wild, but Wet n Wild is so much cheaper. And it looks so good throughout the day. Ooh, it's just, I don't think anything will ever beat it. We've got some weird self tanner lines going on right now, what? Oh God. So I haven't filmed in a while. I know that. I just go through phases where I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And we have been taking a break from the Ouija board, if anyone has noticed. I don't know if you guys also watch that or not, but I just, I don't mind playing the Ouija board, but like, I don't want to, but like, I'll do it for you guys. But then when me and Alicia do do it for you guys, I feel like Alicia just gets in this mood where she wants to complain about everything happening and make it very not fun anymore. <laughs> and it's kind of like, what's the point? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, we'll still have fun doing it, but then freaking 10 minutes in, she's like, oh, I'm just so tired. Oh, my arm hurts. I'm like, will you stop with the excuses? Like, I don't know. If we hate it that much or she's got to do that, then I don't, I guess we shouldn't play it or at least take a break from it. I don't hate it. I just, I don't find it fun. <laughs> if you had to play some kind of board game, which is what it is in my opinion. It's just like a game. Nothing scary ever really comes from it. Uh, it's just kind of fun to think something scary could come from it, but when you've been playing it for so long, you don't really think that anymore. But if you're just to play like a board game <laughs> once a week with your friend for a YouTube video, you'd probably be like, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm tired of playing the same game over and over and over. I'm gonna go over that with a sponge because I feel like I look thick. I'm looking thick. Usually whenever I put this foundation on over self tanner, it doesn't look as beautiful as I wish it would. I'm gonna bring some down here just because I feel like it's gotten darker while it's been on my face. Normally I don't think of this as oxidizing, but 
Maybe it is right now, I don't know. By the way, mine is in the shade Fiji. No, yes, that's right. I'm gonna set my forehead with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Powder in the shade Nude Beige. The reason I use this all the time is because all my other powders are like super white. So, you know, being major pan. Uh, I think that this has flashback. <laughs> Just gonna warn you right now because yesterday I was wearing my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation and it shouldn't have any flashback because it's photo focus, which means it's supposed to be good for pictures and not have that. But then I had this powder on over top of it and my face was like white casting. I'm not sure really how that works too much because I rarely ever use a uh, flash on my camera. It's a little weird, but I was trying yesterday and yeah, that was what was happening. We're gonna seal her. We're gonna use my baby. Lottie London got it covered. Concealer? I don't know. It's in the shade Shell. I love this stuff so much. Like, I, I can't stop using it. The only way I use something different is if I'm super pale. And then I have to use Tarte Shape Tape because it's very pale. But this seriously covers my dark circles like no other. Offer. Maybe it's a shade or I don't know. But it is good and it's so cheap and it's on Ulta, I think, still. So... If you got dark circles, you should try it. I mean, mine I normally don't think of as being that bad, but when they are, this this helps. And then I'm gonna set under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade 120. I really wanna get a, just a darker shade in the loose powder of this because this is really annoying having to go like this and get barely any powder. You know what, we're gonna try to use this right now, see if it ruins my face. <laughs> it's a Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade 02. And we're gonna use this bronzer. Now, I got this for the highlight back whenever I somehow thought I liked gold highlights, but I don't. <laughs> uh, it's not, I mean, okay, it glows, but it's just, no, not my favorite. But uh, everyone was using it for that, and then I got it for that and didn't like it, so I started using the bronzer side that nobody was using because it's very warm looking, but I like it a lot. And I just really like this formula. Cause it is the same formula of the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, which is my favorite bronzer ever. And, but the only time I use this is uh, if I'm super tan because it's a very warm tone. But that really doesn't bother me because I'd rather something be warm than ashy. I just, I can't stand it. I don't like whenever people have contours that look so muddy and ashy. It's just like, why? And it always looks worse whenever someone has a like a normal bronzer or a warmer bronzer and then either puts face powder on top of it or puts cool contour in it. Why does that always look so bad to me? Huh. But this one is definitely, I'm gonna say darker and warmer than the, the other one from Makeup Forever that I have because around my forehead I can tell that it is darker but it just blends so flawlessly. Ooh, it looks beautiful. Okay, for blush I'm gonna use Tarte Blush Bronzer, what is it? bronzer blush in the shade peach bronze <laughs> i can't switch this up i have a nude blush coming from ulta that i ordered not that long ago and i'll try it and see if i like it but who knows it was one of the essence ones that kathleen lights was talking about and how she liked it and how she likes nude blushes so we'll see maybe i'll have a new blush to use <laughs> i really only use like three okay my camera died so I went ahead and got ready and I wanted to talk about something else that I got recently which is the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills and I feel like okay I swear I remember a time when everyone was obsessed with this and it looked amazing on everyone and then when I tried to use it <laughs> it kicks up so much powder it's ridiculous I, oh, did you see that like bruh why? Like all I do is like barely touch it. It's like insane. I don't get it. It's kind of pretty. I mean, I try to stay out of this dark color, but that's the only one. It it has like a white shift, like a whiteness to it, I feel like. It is so fucking powdery. <laughs> like, I don't get it. It makes me not want to use it. If anyone wants to buy this from me, just so you know. Powdery yet. So we're gonna use highlighters that I actually like. So I'm gonna start with Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in the shade 100 Light. <laughs> Why is that its name? And we're gonna use that as a base. Uh, just so you know, I seen that L'Oreal came out with like Galaxy Stick, is that what it's called? It's like 
uh, highlighting sticks that there's like one that's like beautiful and stunning looking like my favorite type of highlight which is like a blue and purpley shift but I hope it has like a white undertone to it because too much blue and purple does not look right on me but uh, I really want it really want to try that and I seen a few other things on Ulta that I would love to try and I seen that uh, Ulta has the NYX lingerie volt thing with like 30 of the liquid lingeries in tiny form and oh my god I think I might need that like I already have eight of them I think but it also comes with like six or something new shades too and I was like bruh it's like $60 but I feel like that's not bad so I really might get that and then I actually already ordered the like Stila has this little kit thing with like three of the what are those even called the glittery eye things that are like new and everyone loved them i mean they're not new now but they were new not that long ago and i was gonna get one but then they came out with this and it has three of the colors and i was like yep so i ordered that <laughs> it's on its way okay now we're gonna put on my favorite highlighter in the world which is a dupe for my other favorite highlighter in the world from the anastasia moon child glow kit the blue one the nyx duochromatic illuminating powder Urgh. what an interesting name in the shade twilight tint this is my bay. Most beautiful thing in the world. And we're just gonna highlight with this. Yes. Yes, queen. Oh my God, it's so good. And then for lips, I'm gonna use my favorite little baby, which sadly the formula is not my favorite, but the color is. It's the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade T-Rose. I love this nude. If anyone knows of a dupe for this, and any other formula would be great, except for ColourPop's formula. Because <laughs> I know that the dupe for that would be Trap, and that formula is horrible too. So, I think that Maybelline or L'Oreal need to come out with this color, because, oh yeah. You know what, L'Oreal might have one that looks like this. Like, Angora might. I'm not sure. It's just like a very purpley, pinky nude. I should probably put some mascara on my lower lashes, but <laughs> every time I make a mess, so. Ugh. I'm gonna add some of that highlight to my inner corners. I have to use this little sponge applicator thing because my nails prevent me from being able to get right up in here. But this works so much better than a brush. So these things aren't completely like useless. <laughs> this is what they work for. I feel like I'm glowing like a space queen. I feel like the blue shift doesn't look so intense whenever you're, I'm not like as tan. It looks just kind of more white, but Still beautiful by the way the reason i do not like this is because uh it comes off super easy it's a super thin formula which which can be good you know a lot of things are but this one's super thin so i feel like it comes off easily i don't know it's weird but it's not like horrible it's just if you eat you're gonna have to reapply no matter what at least i do or if you just like lick your lips at all it'll start to go away so yeah i think that's all for my favorite little every this is not my everyday look i don't know what to call this it's like my favorite look to do if i want to do something that i know i'm gonna like so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll be back soon with more videos thanks for watching bye